Or Shalom Shalom. Shalaki Shalom Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim. Rechakadash. Okay, Yahweh being the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior, the children of Israel. I want to give double honors to the, uh, the apostles and the elders of GMS. And in salutation to the brethren out there pushing the word and serving truth, resting their lives and their freedom to do so. You know, to those men I say, uh, Shalom, uh, Shalom, Wa Barakim, our thumb. You know, peace and blessings upon you. You know, and I just got, uh, you know, I just got a quick lesson before I hit the plantation. You know, and this is going to be, uh, it's going to be entitled Sirach, uh It's going to be Sirach, uh It's going to be entitled Sirach 11, uh, 21 through 27. Okay. So with that, I'm gonna get straight into it. Okay. This is Sirach chapter 11, verse 21. It says, "Marvel not at the works." Of sinners okay it says trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor okay and in that labor you know it's talking about doing the work of the Lord you know believing in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah you know because the, the work uh, real quick uh, uh, James what did, what did James say uh, it says uh, uh, Shalakia this is James chapter uh this is James chapter 1 verse 17 It says even you know going back to the labor Which is the work of the Lord It says even so faith if it hath not works It's dead alone It says yea a man may say that I has faith And I have works Show me thy faith without thy works And I will show thee my faith by my works Okay And I just wanted to get that scripture You know because it's going to, uh, going back to the, 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 the labor of the Lord You know uh, uh, Showing our faith by our works Okay it says, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in his labor. Okay. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden to make a poor man rich. You know, so so it's nothing. It's nothing to the Lord to make a poor man rich. That's the easy thing to the Lord. Okay. And if you look at it, you know, the way the way Yahweh Shai is going to throw down, you know, this wicked kingdom of America and take all the crowns of the earth of the rest of these kings on, uh, on the earth, you know. The, the elect of Israel is going to become rich overnight, so to speak. Okay. Of uh, verse twenty-two, it says so. So so going back to that point is nothing. It's it's easy to make uh, to the Lord to make a poor man rich. Okay, and, and we're the poor. Okay, we, we are the poor. Okay. What's what's the uh, one second? This is this showing you that we are the poor. This is James chapter 2, verse 5. It says, Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not the Most High, Yahweh by Shem Shai, chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? So we're the poor, but we're rich with something. We're rich with faith, you know, which is a gift of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Okay? So we are indeed the poor, you know, uh, Yahshua, Israel, in the Hebrew. Verse 22, it says, The blessing. Of the Lord is the reward. Shalaki, yeah, it says the blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the of the godly. The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the uh, in the of the godly. And suddenly he maketh his blessing to flourish. It says, "Say not what profit is there in my service, and what and what good thing shall I have hereafter?" You know. So when uh, basically when you do good, you know, don't 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 respect uh. It says, say not what profit, uh, what profit is there of my service? So when you do good, you're not supposed to say that, you know, it says, and, and what good things shall I have hereafter? So you're not supposed to expect anything, especially when you do something, uh, you know, you, you, you do a blessing for a brother, you know, you give a brother something or, or if you give alms, you know, don't, don't expect nothing after, you know. Don't expect nothing after. The scripture says this, uh, Sirach chapter twelve, verse three. It says, "There can it says there can no good come to him that always occupied." No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, this is Sirach chapter uh, uh, twelve, verse one. It says, "When thou wilt do good, know to whom thou doest it, so should thou be thanked." For thy benefits, it says, "Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense." And it says, "And if not of him, yet from the Most High." Okay, so it says uh, back uh, in Sirach 11, 
It says, what good things shall I have hereafter? So you're not supposed to expect anything, you know? If that man don't pay you back, you know, without you asking him, then the Lord will reward you, okay? Just going back to that point, okay? So it says, don't expect, it says, what good things shall I have hereafter? So you're not supposed to expect anything when you do good, okay? It says, uh, verse 24 says, again, say not, I have enough and possesses and, pos and possess many things. And what evil can come to me hereafter, okay? And, and this, and this with the, uh, and this is the difference between the rich and the poor, okay? And this is something that the, the a proud, the proud rich man will say, you know, more so Esau, you know, because Esau he's a proud man, okay? And this is what the Lord's gonna do unto the proud. This is Isaiah chapter two, verse eleven. It says, "The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of man shall be bowed down." And the Lord alone shall be exalted And that day. And what is that day? The, the, the day of the Lord, the day of death and destruction. The way the, the, the day the Lord is going to burn America off the face of the earth by thermonuclear fire, okay? Verse 12, it says, For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. Most was speaking about the nation of Esau. Because one of the characteristics of the nation of Esau is being proud. And out of, out of seven things the Lord hates, being proud is one of them. Actually, he's on the top of the list. Okay? It says, For the day the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Okay? So going back to Sirach 11, it says, It says, Again, say not, I have enough, and possess many things, and what evil can come to me hereafter? You know, and that's a proud statement. Just because you have a, a many possessions, what evil, what, what evil can touch you? You know, that's a proud statement, okay? Uh, verse 25, it says, and, and this is the point in the video. You know, this is the main point why I brought out the scripture, okay? This is Sirach chapter 11, verse 25. It says, in the day of prosperity, which these people are living in now, okay? These people, you know, you, these average Americans... You know, they living in, in, in the day of their prosperity, okay? They they living comfortably, you know. They they don't they they they, they living comfortably, you know. Especially, you know, after the event 9-11, you know, they, they they traded they traded their freedom, so to speak, for security, okay? So these people think they're safe. But the scripture says this, you know. In the day of their prosperity, and in the day, in the, in, the, in the day of their security, this is First um, Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, I start at one. Shalaki, I start at two. It says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night.' Okay." Why does the Lord come in the thief, uh, as a thief in the night, as the scripture says? This is the answer. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 3. It says, Remember therefore how thou hast re received and heard and hold fast. Talking about the faith. And what are you supposed to do with it? It says, and repent. Okay. So when you receive and heard this truth, you're supposed to hold fast to it and repent. Which means, uh, shawab in the Hebrew, which means to turn back. Okay. You're supposed to be turning back to the Lord. To the best of our ability. It says, if the, it says, if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. Okay. So if you're not watching, if you living in the day of your prosperity, living comfortably, living secured, the day of the Lord is going to come upon you as a thief in the night. Thus save the scriptures. Okay. It says, And when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they, sh and they sh shall not escape. Okay. So going back to Sirach 11 and 25, it says, In the day of prosperity, they, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So when you're prospering, when you're living secure, you know, these average Americans, you know, they 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 forget what affliction feels like, okay? They feel like the, the stuff that's going on in the Middle East right now, you know, especially the bombings that's taking place in the, in the, uh, in, in the, in the country like uh, uh, Yemen, okay? people being bombed at wedding ceremonies and stuff they don't think that could come over here to to the shores of america why because it said they living in their uh in their prosperity 
and it says in the day of affliction there is no remembrance of uh shlaki it says in the day of prosperity there is forgetfulness of affliction okay and that's why because they they're being they they're living prosperous and they forgot what affliction feel like but this is what the scripture says it says in the day of affliction there is no more remembrance of prosperity so when that affliction comes it's not going to be a, uh, any more remembrance of uh of uh uh prosperity okay when this affliction comes all these good times the good old american dream okay it is it's going to become the american reality the dream was always fake and and that's when reality is going to hit you know when the day of affliction comes in okay it says it says uh continuing on verse 26 it says it is an easy thing unto the lord yeah, it says, it is an easy thing unto the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. Okay? Because the scripture says, uh, though ex uh, those judgments not executed speedily, okay? The scripture says, it is an easy thing for the Lord to reward, uh, and the day of death to reward, uh, it says, to reward a man according to his ways. Okay? And this is uh, Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. This is the out of the mouth of Yahweh Shah, red letter. Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. It says, Behold, I come quickly, and my, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Okay, so Yahweh Shah, on his second return, which on his second return, he's coming back as a lion. Okay, because the first time he came, he came as a sheep, which is symbolic of being humble. But a lion is coming back there with power, okay? Because the power of, of, of a lion is in its teeth, okay? And that's how Yahweh Shah is coming. He's coming with power, okay? The, the, as the scripture says, the day of death, it will ward them that, that according to his ways, okay? And if you sow wickedness unto yourself, you shall reap the judgment thereof. And if you sow righteousness, okay, you shall reap the reward, which is salvation, okay? It says, for it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. And this is the point. It says the affliction, and, th and this is the main point, okay? It says the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure. And that's all it's going to take. It's going gonna, it's gonna to only take one hour, okay? More so the hour when America gets destroyed by thermonuclear fire. It's, the, the forgetfulness of pleasure. That this place living deliciously is all going to be forgotten in one hour, the scripture says. Okay. Uh, this is Revelation chapter 18. Uh, where is it at? Verse 9. It says, Revelation chapter 18, verse 9. It says, And the kings of it says, And the kings of the earth who have committed fortification and lived deliciously with her. You know, as the scripture says in the Sirach, what? Uh Sirach 11, the pleasure. That's how uh, America has lived deliciously in pleasure, okay? They have de lived deliciously in pleasure by uh, by enslaving the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, okay? That's one of the ways America has lived deliciously off of free labor. It says, and live deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her, and when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off, for the fear of her torment, saying, "Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, which is another, uh, which is the, uh, which is the biblical name of America, is known as uh, the daughter of Babylon, a virgin daughter of Babylon." Okay, it's talking about America. Okay, it says, "Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, or America, that mighty city, for in one hour." As thy judgment come so it's only going to take one hour it says the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure it's only going to take one hour and before that happens another way men are going to forget pleasure by Jacob's trouble okay it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it and it's even that the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it, you know? And in, in the hour of Jacob trouble, man is gonna forget pleasure. And also in the hour when these missiles, these ICBM missiles, which is the, the scriptures liken them into arrows, okay? 
men are going to forget uh, pleasure, okay? Because everything is going to be destroyed, okay? And that's when reality is going to hit these people, okay? It says, the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure. And in his end, it says, and in his end, his deed shall be discovered, okay? But I just wanted to go over to Rock uh, 11, uh, 21 through 27. You know, and with that, I hope you brothers out there was edified. I want to give all praise to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechach Hadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutation to the elect brother and out there pushing the word and sincerity and truth. Resting their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom.